Hi! Today we're going to talk about expository writing. So we will be using this slideshow by Russell Rodrigo from SlideShare. All right, but before that, let us first talk about the topics, or, or not the topics, but the materials that are already available on Moodle. All right, so, okay, so we have here four. Okay, so this is the fifth one, the slideshow. Okay, so this is the first material that I have already shared, and I'm hoping that you have already read it. So this is a quick guide, a short guide on writing expository essays. So this is from Al Purdue. Okay, Purdue University. So it gives um, a short discussion about um, about expository writing, uh, what it's about, and of course the five paragraph essay. All right. And then we have here an infographic about expository essay in case you want or, or you find it easier to read an infographic. So here are three um, definitions of what an expository essay is and then the steps on how to write it from selecting a topic until writing your essay and of course here is a short example but this is very short what I'm requiring of you is a five paragraph expository essay all right okay so I will be explaining about the five paragraph structure today in this video all right and of course here is uh, material on samples of course like I said I'm requiring you to write a five paragraph expository essay so I'm providing you samples and your homework actually your first assignment for expository writing is to create an outline of one of the examples given here so just choose any the one that you like and then create an outline the structure of the outline will be given later in the video Okay, so uh, I'm sorry if my if my um, vid, uh, if my if my you know if my video here would you know turn off from time to time. It's just that the setting is set like that, and I haven't um, quite fixed it yet. Okay, so anyway, moving on. And here is an infographic on essay hooks. I will be using this as well in the discussion later. Essay hooks are important, okay? Whether it is expository writing or persuasive writing, argumentative writing, even narrative, you need essay hooks, okay? So I will be using this briefly as well later on. Okay, so let's talk about expository writing. Okay, so what's the first thing here? What is expository writing? It's defined as presenting reasons, explanations, or steps in a process. So if you write something that requires you to do any of the three, then you are making or writing an expository essay. So basically it's informational writing. So as I said, it's different from persuasive because persuasive means you are defending something, you're defending a side. And expository writing is not storytelling because that is narrative writing, right? And of course, like any essay, an expository essay should follow a logical sequence, but what makes it distinct from other types of essays is that it should have three different main points, okay, basically three. And of course, there should be logic and coherence as the main, as the main focus of, of, you know, your essay. You should make it clear, logical and coherent. All right. So furthermore, okay. How is it different from other essays? So as I was saying earlier, an expository writing does not tell a story, that is narrative. Expository writing does not persuade the reader, but only gives facts and reasons. So a persuasive essay, okay, which persuades is usually argumentative, like, you know, let's say debate speeches. So a debate speech is not expository, that is argumentative or persuasive. And one more, expository writing can also give the steps of a process, but in essay form, all right? So, let's talk about the structure, all right? So, it has a specific structure, but mainly it should have a position or an opinion. So, your the structure of an expository essay should center around a, an, a position or an opinion, okay? So, um, 
this position or opinion should be given in a thesis statement so this will be explained later on as well all right so um, your essay should be structured in a way that you will be able to give textual evidence to support your topic okay so what is an expository not okay what is it not so it's not a summary of a book it's not a book review okay so a book review is um more of a persuasive essay all right and uh, it's also literary most of the time and what else uh it does not only focus as focus on it does not focus only on your opinion although you start with your opinion but it's not solely based in there so you should also use evidence okay so take note of that because i will be looking for your evidence in your essay right so mm -hmm, did we skip a page all right so this page is very important because this is about the format of an expository essay okay so it contains five paragraphs okay so the first paragraph is the introductory paragraph and then the the succeeding three paragraphs are called body paragraphs and they support the first paragraph and then you have the final paragraph which is the concluding paragraph so each paragraph is going to be explained in detail in the following slides okay so let's talk about some keywords let's define them so you have thesis statement which is the main idea of the whole essay so your introduction your introductory paragraph should contain your thesis statement what is your essay about so you should state it clearly all right and then you should make use of transition words to to you know uh, make your essay more logical and make it easy to follow so you can use words such as first second as a result furthermore moreover in conclusion stuff like that you know phrases like that you can actually google uh, about transition words so you will have lots of options but make sure to use the right one okay and then main ideas each paragraph should have a main idea and and the main ideas should you know relate to each other so there should be coherence and of course supporting details in your paragraphs aside from the main idea there should be supporting details okay so, uh, to give to you know flesh out your idea right give support so this is the structure of an expository essay so you have the introductory paragraph you have the body paragraph and you have the concluding paragraph Okay, so you have three body paragraphs all right okay so usually the introductory paragraph is an inverted pyramid we shall talk more about the parts later and then the concluding paragraph is usually a pyramid like this oh it's not really a pyramid but more of a trapezoid right so <laughs> there you go so, but this one is inverted so you will see the logic of this one later on okay so uh, page nine okay so let's talk more about expository writing and uh, the parts okay so the introduction of an expository essay should include the main idea and what the essay is about so I've already mentioned it earlier it is important that the main idea the thesis statement these are established in the introduction and then the three main reasons that support the main idea should already be mentioned should already be mentioned in the introduction okay so state them briefly in the introduction and then you flesh them out discuss them further in the body paragraphs okay so now let's talk about the thesis statement so what what is the thesis statement it can be the first in the paragraph or the last in the paragraph or implied throughout the paragraph okay so what's my suggestion either in the first or the last of the paragraph not implied okay so I prefer that you really make it clear to me okay and of course more experienced writers use the inverted pyramid style in introduction we shall see an example of it here all right okay so this is the the, the sample that I was talking about earlier 
So this is for the introductory paragraph. So you start with a broad overview of the topic of the essay. So for this part, you will make use of the hook because you can use either a general statement, a question, or a quotation. So let's talk about the hook. All right, so you have here, what are the common essay hooks? Okay, so you have anecdote, analogy, quotes from famous people from literature or other sources. You can use rhetorical questions, interesting statistics. Um, what else? Humorous or philosophical musings or attention-grabbing statement. Okay, um, it's up to you which one you prefer. Um, for me, I usually use a line from someone famous. I'd quote, I'd quote someone like maybe... Uh, let's say um, Dura Lex said Lex the law may be harsh but that is the law so that is that is uh, a common let's say that is an adage usually in in law all right so I, I use it often in debate okay it can also be a rhetorical question like you know the one from Shakespeare right like to be or not to be that is the question so you can you can quote that. So that is a quote from a famous literature and a rhetorical question, a rhetorical question at the same time, right? Okay, now that's great. So it, um, this part should be one to two sentences, okay? And then the next part should be another one to two sentences, um, giving more background about the information. So this is the part where, where you will introduce the three main reasons or three main points of your you know of your essay okay that support your your uh, your topic and of course part three is your thesis statement that is developed into a complete sentence so this is this is what i meant by you know putting your thesis statement in the last part so it can be like this so this is just one sentence but it is explicitly stating saying what your essay is all about so therefore, the introductory paragraph should have three to five sentences. So this is a basic structure that you can follow, okay, for the rest of the essay, all right? So there should be three to five sentences in every paragraph, all right? So moving forward, let's talk about the hook. So I already mentioned the hook earlier, actually. So I don't need to, to show this again, but let's just take a peek okay so just uh, go over this infographic so you will have more ideas better a uh, better idea about how to use hooks in an essay all right so you need that especially in the first part of the essay okay so next is let's talk about the body paragraphs so what's the purpose of the body paragraphs they are there for you to support your topic statement use direct quotations specific textual detail and strong explanations so this is the part where you will use references okay but of course if you should quote please uh, limit it to only a few words okay maybe less than 10 words and make sure to use APA 7 in your citations all right uh, let me give you a sample paragraph that contains the elements of a body paragraph, okay? So this one, this is actually about um, writing arguments or written, sorry, written arguments, all right? So uh, let's start with the, with the first slide here about this particular sample. So we start with the claim. So the claim is equivalent to the topic sentence. Okay, so you have here, Dora the Explorer is an ex educational TV show for kids. And you have evidence one, that Dora often uses colors and numbers to communicate various pieces of information to her young audience. And there are actually two, two evidence here. So you have evidence two, that Dora show, that, 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 that Dora, that the show uses simple words in English and Spanish to help unfold the the plot okay so the claim and the two evidence that support it are further explained so the text in yellow in this paragraph are the explanations okay so you have here about the color and numbers they help prepare 
kids for the early stages of learning in preschool and kindergarten. Okay, so expose, uh, this is exposure to basic units of knowledge. And with regards to the language, the use of two languages uh, helps create young bilingual speakers. Isn't it great? So these are explanations here. All right, the, the text in yellow. What is lacking in the sample is the concluding statement or transitional transitional sentence or transition sentence. So why is it not included? Because if it is, say, for example, your first body paragraph, you don't need a concluding statement or sentence yet, right? And also, um, I will give you an option not to use a transition sentence at the end of a body paragraph. You can use the transition in the first part of the next paragraph. So it, it can be done either way, okay? But if you, can, if you can do a transition sentence at the end of the paragraph and then move on to the next body paragraph, then that would be great, okay? So here, uh, let's talk about the vocabulary of body paragraphs. So you have a, the topic sentence. So, which contains the topic, the, you know, the main idea of your paragraph. Usually, it's the first sentence of a paragraph. So, um, comparing a body paragraph to the introductory paragraph, the introductory paragraph is an inverted pyramid, right? Because the, to the topic sentence, which is the thesis statement, is the last. Whereas, whereas in a body paragraph, it is in a pyramid form. Because the topic sentence is the first one, okay? So, aside from that, there should be textual evidence. So, this, these are the quotations that I mentioned earlier. Examples, um, statistics, if you need them, okay? And, of course, explanation, okay? Like, like the example that I've given earlier as well. So, you need to explain. Not explaining it is not, is not good enough. It's a disrespect to the reader, right? please don't overlook that so continuing that so this is the basic structure so paragraph two introduce the first reason and give details paragraph three second reason and then details then paragraph four third reason and then details and then you have the conclusion to restate all the reasons okay so that's how quick that that is so this is now the structure of a body paragraph topic sentence textual evidence then explanation Okay, and of course, if you have two textual evidence, then you need to repeat the, the, this part, the two parts here, before you write the concluding sentence. Okay, I would really prefer if you have a concluding sentence. Okay, hmm. uh, before that, let's talk about 17. So, provide evidence and examples. Okay, remember, you use examples, explanations, evidence, and elaboration. So, elaboration can already be done by giving examples, explanation, and, and evidence. Okay? And now, all right, use transitions, as mentioned earlier. They glue the essay. They, they make the essay coherent. Okay? Aside from, of course, the reasons that are related to each other, Using transitions make your essay verbally coherent as well, all right? Not only conceptually coherent, okay? And they are signposts for the reader to know where you're at in the, in the essay, okay? So these are some examples like first, second, third, finally, in conclusion, next, okay? Therefore, all right, so use those words and use them properly. Now, moving on, uh, for the conclusion, the conclusion should restate your thesis and your subtopics, but state it in a way that is different from the introduction and the body paragraphs. Do not, do not reiterate or do not copy the, the exact words that you have used earlier, okay? And of course, what is it for? It's to remind your reader what you wrote about, so that, you know, when we when when we when we're done when we're done reading your essay it's clear in our minds what it is about all right and please do not include any new information in the conclusion that is the conclusion after all okay so 
uh, page 21 all right so as i said it summarizes and yes leave your writing with clarity leave the readers with something clear all right so those are the elements restatement of the topic sentence or thesis statement and then a review of the reasons in the body paragraphs okay so this is the structure of a concluding paragraph restatement and then review okay state your thesis and review all right so let's recap what are the things that you need to write an effective expository essay of course there should only be one topic okay what are you going to talk about let's say you want to talk about mm, let's say banning of homework or maybe you want to talk about online learning okay or maybe online gaming whatever floats your boat i will actually give you a list of topics that you can choose from okay and you can you can take it from there all right so um what else aside from choosing only one topic there should be reasons supporting that topic and details supporting the reasons and then there should be a conclusion okay and then make sure to use transition words to glue everything together and use language use words that are clear concise logical and informative so that it's easy to understand your essay okay and we can appreciate your writing and your topic when you do that okay hopefully this is clear so if you make sure that all of these are found in your essay i can guarantee you that you will get a high mark all right so now let's move on to outlining your expository essay so you need an outline to organize your essay it is a must okay in this stage in your learning it is a must so you need to plan you need to pre-plan so you don't forget anything and you don't ramble in your essay you have a purpose for each paragraph and each sentence okay so the essay practically writes itself from the outline so it's very easy to you know transform the outline into into an into a full essay all right there you go so let's look at the the outline so this is the first part of the outline so from from the title the introduction the introduction the parts of the introduction so you get you'll provide you'll provide here uh, for the outline, you don't need to write the complete sentences. Just write phrases, okay? Write phrases. Phrases, uh, maybe a short sentence if necessary, but, but never, never the entire sentence, okay? So do not explain here or whatever. Just write the keywords, okay? So this is the first reason, and then you have page 26. You have second reason or second main point, and then the third one, and then you have the conclusion, okay? So this is the, the outline that I will be requiring you to make for the sample essay that you will be reading and choosing and also for your own essay. So you will submit two outlines, okay? Two outlines for this topic. And of course, your complete essay, okay? Just follow this and then, all right. So please, before submitting your essay to me, check that you have all these elements here all right so you have reasons details transition words the conclusion sometimes students forget to write the conclusion i don't know why maybe they run out of time they run out of i don't know patience maybe please do not forget the conclusion and of course please check your grammar you can use grammarly okay grammarly or any you can even use microsoft word it, it can check your your grammar and of course make sure that there's coherence logic and clarity in your essay all right i'd really appreciate that now that's it okay so this is now your uh yeah the end the the outline okay uh this is your quick guide on how to complete your expository essay there you go all right so well, maybe we can use this this outline because it's shorter all right okay but i prefer the other outline because it's it would really help you um write your essay quicker okay so the more detailed the outline the better okay but again for outlines use only keywords and phrases okay so there you go so i hope that this short um 
discussion on expository essays can help you proceed with the activities. So should you have questions, please feel free to, you know, contact me through the Facebook Messenger um, group chat. Okay, so I'll be looking forward to your comments and even suggestions. Alright, so thank you and good luck. Have a great day.